Hello, everyone. I'm Chester44, also known as Belai, and welcome to this Let's Play of Boulder's Gate 3. Last episode, we, uh, took a little, uh, trip to the side in order to find our way over to, uh, a gnome who had gone and hidden, and now we have the powder we need in order to get through this. First things first, I think we can tell these guys about what happened. You got the smoke powder? Go on, blow the rubble. Okay, uh, by the way, Sergeant Thryn, please stop and just talk to her, thank you. Yes, true soul. I've got some explosive powder, that might clear the debris. That's so. Set it near the rubble, and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. Alright, use the cave -in. <coughs> a fragmented voice clutches at your mind. A true soul. True soul. Finally, you must clear rubble, filling poison. Are you near? What happened in there? Expedition. Passage trapped. Gnomes useless. Don't trust Burks. Get me out. View through Nir's eyes as a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. Try to focus. What more can you see? The blur resolves into an image. Two gnomes feverishly removing debris. While two others lie dead at Nir's feet. Their flesh scorched by powerful magic. You sense Nier's frustration, tinged with rage, <coughs> as the connection <coughs> fades. Okay then. Well, we have the cave in here. Choking! Dig out of here! You sense Nier's frustration. Oh, so do I just drop this here, then? Okay. Uh... Sure, we can do that. There we go. Finally. Worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. Nay, it is not. Oh dear. Stop. No more innocents will die today, Nair. You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. Of course I care. Can't let these gnomes suffer. The Absolute demands their slaughter. Yet, here you stand, in bold defiance. A test, yes, you must be. The Absolute bade you to try Nir's faith. Thrym, Carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save him. Hmm. That's your cue, Brithvar. It's time you got paid. Damn right it's time. You owe my crew a ten days worth of coin near, and the reckoning's come. You bargained with this wretch. How vexing. Nair is not without mercy, true soul. Huh. The rat has given you a chance to earn my favor. 
Strike him down. Prove your faith. Side with Brithvar and the rebels. Heretics. Let near be your end. And here begins the fight. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, you can get a shot out. I don't know where Nair is. I mean, he must be somewhere, but... Is he in here? Ah, oh, he is in there! Unfortunately, I can't quite reach him. I can't. The others can. Big shot on Fonmara. Or not. How about you? That's a good shot. That is not what should have happened. There's a lot of people here. I have to reload. And once again, here we go. Let's see if we can do this effectively. You've got an advantage on him. Go for it. That's a good amount of damage. And... You know what? Bite him. That had to hurt him. Coercion? I don't like that. <coughs> no, I don't like that at all. Come on, guys. Thank you for missing. Once, at least. Nice hit. Okay, uh... Fireball? Let's cast a fireball. Coercion, I can't move because I'm coerced. God damn it, seriously? Well, that's a reload! How about we just do another short rest to recover health? That could work. Okay, go through all this again. Finally! View through Nier's eyes as a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. The blood while well, you sense I'll peel your balls like potatoes if you don't. Okay, once again. This guy's right here. Everyone backs way up. Blast the thing to beats! What's next, I wonder? <coughs> okay, you come out. The other guy's coming out now. 
Doesn't you care for the weak? The if he indeed is a true soul, let the absolute. Shut your shitholes, both of you. Direct your damn. You bargain. Near. Wasn't the right choice, down. but. Some of this is kind of quite annoying. Okay, you can get a shot in. And you missed. Of course you did. And all of these other guys are going first. Son of a bitch. That is exactly the opposite of what I wanted. Well, they're dead. So much for that bit of assistance. <coughs> Very much not what I wanted. Well, you didn't get coerced. Pull our master. Ow. Reloading again. Once again, we do this. Everyone behind, please. Or not. Or you don't move. Okay, everyone come out, please. True soul, please, let me explain. I'm not interested in excuses, three. You failed. And here we go again. Does not. You care for the weak. If he indeed is a true soul, damn right it. You but near strike him down. And here we go. Of course, he goes first. And he's co coerced. Well, we'll try and do something about that. And you are going to fall back to here, I think. And then all these guys go. <coughs> Not keen on that. However, I do like the positioning that some of these guys are on. Very good for a fireball. Very good for a fireball. Hey, a level up for some of us. That's pretty nice. <coughs> Close. Okay, you saved against that. Now we have to deal with Thryn using her thing. Thankfully, that didn't work. No poison either. All right, Donna, you're coming over too. Okay, there's Grease. Not keen on it, but okay. You can go ahead and... Ah, come on! Time to push my luck again. Fine, you are gonna head right over to here.
That had to hurt, I bet. Okay, that's a few nice smacks. Yeah, you're about to die. Okay, out of the fire, please. And you're dead. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, this time I think we have things. Nice. That guy's going to be a bit of an irritation. But I do believe we have this. Nice smack. to keep going. I forgot that guy was there. Sadly, it seems you can't get up there. Now without dashing, which... Hold on. Breathe deep and move. Well, you can shove him. Well, he succeeded that, unfortunate. Nice. Well, there was an attempt. Well, that had to hurt. That was actually kind of impressive, truth be told. <coughs> Excuse me. Did you really need to enlarge? We kind of got this victory. Let's see. That'll finish him off. Very nice. Okay, we got this guy coming in. Very nice. And Ceres. And you can't shove him. You, however... Damn, you missed. <coughs> oh, I forgot about that guy. Oh, well, he's dead. Only got one more to deal with, which I think we can do easily here. There we go! Yeah, I don't really care about the parasite. Because I don't collect those. Okay, Mind Master Von Mara. Alright, Nair. The decaying oh. corpse lies before you. 
Remove its head. Oh yeah, we do need its head. Wow, that was a low roll. <coughs> Excuse me. The head breaks off cleanly from the drow's body. And now we have the drow's head. Now what else do you have here? If I can actually see things. So, potion of healing. Plus one dagger, sword of screams. Ring, ring. Disintegrating nightwalkers. Can't be in webbed, entangled, or ensnared, and can't slip on grease or ice. And broken moon lantern. Some object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Must be the moon lantern. Though it's dark as a moonless night within. A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Ugh, it's broken. It won't save us from a dusky evening, never mind a curse. Let's see. Inspect the lantern in more detail. Well, that was a close one. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. Arcana? Well, we have more of a chance. Hey! Somehow that worked. This is pixie dust. <coughs> used to illuminate a lamp. All left behind after a pixie's death. Pixie dust? Huh. And I'll take that, even though I'm not going to use it. Corsair Greymon. Let's see. Bow of the Banshee. Jorogul's Greatsword. Dark Justiciar Mail. Oh! Coins, a fish head. The I really need to get more uh, strength. Ooh, onyx, fish, ring of absolute force. If the wearer bears the absolute's brand, they deal one additional thunder damage. Uh, boots of speed, fish, ring, and gold. Also, we all got level ups, which we'll do in the next episode. Okay, let me throw a few things around. This is going to the camp. You can take that. Bow of the Banshee. Would that be better for you? It's a narrower range, and it doesn't do more. But, could inflict Frightened. And does extra damage against uh, Frightened foes. Hmm. <laughs> it's a short bow, is the thing. Okay, that's a great sword, who I know it's gonna go for a companion. Those are the boots of speed. I guess throw them on. Actually, no. Those would be better. Boots of speed can go to... Oh, we'll give them to someone. We'll need to go back to camp. Uh, these daggers. And this one is a rapier. Ooh, that's gonna go for a companion. Nair's head is 10 pounds. Jeez. No wonder it weighs so much. Okay, carry a bunch of things, please. Still encumbered. Oh, that's a whipping cane. I don't care about that. These I can send to camp. Not that they really weigh anything. I'm going to throw this smoke powder satchels to camp. Honestly, I don't really, really use explosives. <coughs> that will go to you because it's a scroll. I don't even know if this is useful. Send it to camp. Still need to get rid of something. Okay. Send to camp. 
Send to camp. Send to camp. Uh. Oh, those are the intri those are the ingredients. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, send that to camp, and no longer encumbered. Okay. And with that, I am going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll level up. We'll speak with the gnomes, and we'll see if we can get if we can take care of all of these dwarves and the like. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Ceres, Shadow Art, Astarian, and Gale. This has been a Let's Play of Boulder's Gate 3, and I shall see you all next time.